Hey guys, welcome back to another Math 1 Teaching with Basketball. Today I will be showing you guys how to do some negative numbers inside parentheses with positive exponents. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know and comment, share, or subscribe. Um, I don't know how to turn the comments off, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to try to do this thing. You guys can comment on how I do. Let me know if there's anything you want me to fix. And I'll definitely do that for you guys. I'm happy to help. And let me know if you guys are having trouble with some math. And I'll help you with that, okay? Alright. I'm only good from grades 1 through 8. Alright? 1 through 8. One, grades 1 through 8 math, okay? I don't know. 9th grade math, 10th grade math, 11th grade math, 12th grade math. So, I really can't help with those grades. But I can do 1 through 8. Alright? So, here's an example we're going to do. We're going to do uh negative three to the third power. We usually use it to the second power. So the so the exponent is telling us how much times you have to multiply negative three. So it's gonna be equal to negative three times negative three times negative three. You always want to use the dot when you're in seventh grade or higher. You don't want to use your x because your other x can be a variable. So this is always the reason why you want to make sure that you use the dots instead of the x's. All right. So negative 3 times negative 3 equals 9. Then we're going to times it by another negative 3. And we get negative 27. So that's what the answer is to that. Because positive times, I mean, negative, negative number times negative number times negative number does not equal a, a positive number. Negative times negative equals a positive. But negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to 9. And we we'll times that by another negative 3, which gives us back to a negative number of negative 27. So if you guys understand, if you guys understand what I mean, please let me know in the comments down below. And I'm glad, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're on the same track. All right, let's do two more examples, and let's see if we get through this. Let's do negative 4 to the second power. Okay, so number 2, we're, we're, we have to multiply 4 two times, because that's what the exponent here is telling us. Same thing with this one. So we're going to do negative 4 times negative 4 equals 16. Because positive, I mean negative, times a negative, equals a positive. So this, this represents a positive or a plus, but this is the answer. Positive 16. Okay? Now I can do one more, uh, uh, one more problem on this, and we're going to see this, okay? So, right now, uh, to, to show multiplication, you can use the, this. Or this. Those are two different ways you could show that. Alright. So now we can do one more example. Let's do negative 6 to the second power. Okay. So negative 6 to the second power is the same thing as doing negative 6 times negative 6 equals 36. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know if there's any comments, concerns, and I'll be happy to help with grades 1 through 8. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care. Peace.